Welcome to the Weed Dram. We're here. The Tomatin episode. Tomatin 12. 12. ABV 43%. And, uh, and counting. Ar- arriving from the Highlands and marketing itself as the smooth, sort of the light side of the Highlands. A light whiskey. They like that. Kind of the Dalwini, the gentle dram going for, you know, we're not trying to knock you around. Hmm. We're just trying yeah. to uh, have an enjoyable time together. <laughs> that's all. We're not, I, I, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, we're not we're not trying to leave an impression that lasts a lifetime. We're simply here as a comfort food. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we had talked briefly about it beforehand, and I wasn't sure if mm. I had ever tried it before. But you said we didn't have it, and I couldn't remember if we had it at the old bar. I know that sounds bad, but we were young, and we were just getting everything, and we, we could just look at the journal. attention to. We could look at the journal, see if it's in there. Was It, it might ever, be worthwhile. Yeah. could be worth the time. You never know. Maybe, yeah, you could even pull a quote of the night out of that. Out of the old journal? There's nothing really in there that's any good. So pull something <laughs> dumb up. <laughs> yeah. Pull a, pull a memory. Yeah. Could do. Yes. Anyhow, so yeah, that, uh, idea, yeah. So, uh, the Tomatin, um, ever since it's been sitting up on the shelf, I have been kind of itching to try it. About nine months it's been up there. Nine months? I believe, yeah. Oh, see, that's... I think I brought it home last August, let's say. That's just, that it, that it, I don't feel like it should be that way. Do you mean the sound or No, 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 tomatin? I just mean leaving the Tomatin up on the shelf for, oh. for nine months. That <clears> seems kind of cruel. Cruel, yes, but the problem, the Tomatin just kept getting uh, bumped. That's true. Different whiskeys would arrive and it would be like, oh, well, let's just set this back a bit on the schedule and bump this one up. Okay. The Tomatin was a bit of a victim. Yeah, I, f- I feel a little bad about the that. The gentle drowns often get victimized on an Isla-heavy bar, you know? It's not it's not the gentle, highland, soft drowns' fault. It just They just don't scream for attention like others do. Right. Is that good? I guess it's good. It's good Variety. because when you get a chance to drink a whiskey like this, you're like, oh, yeah. You know, there's other whiskeys out there. There's other styles that are uh, worthy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They have their place. Got to try them out. Well, this one, every time I've seen a review, has always been positive. Right. So that's a plus. You know, you kind of want to try it if you haven't tried it and everybody's talking high on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. that's okay. I should get, I want to. Get, get comfortable. Because... Get comfortable with that glass in your hand. Yeah, here we yeah. go. All I'm right. gonna I'm gonna do some nosing now. Nosing. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Weird. You know, I almost got um. The, the first the first nose is never good for me, but I got like a um a spicy orange. Spicy orange. And usually it blows me away. That could oh. be like masking the alcohol for me, but it smelled kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it does have a nice nose to it. Pleasant, inviting nose. It is pleasant. Nose. It's like yeah. f- spring flowers almost. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little fruity. Mm-hmm. Uh, dry. But nectar may be sweet. Yeah, you like nectar, eh? I still have a bit of apple pear mm. fruitiness. More of that dried, you know those ring apples that you get that are like dried? They're, I think they're like, you can get them in a package. And they're like just rings of dried apple. and um, They're not like, apple chips yeah maybe a bit apple cidery because there's something um high up in the nose Mm -hmm. that has that a bit of that bourbon flavor well i think maybe that's what i'm confusing for the citrus yeah but for me i don't get like a tanginess at all no no i mean maybe but that's that tingling end at the very top of your nose no maybe 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 Anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm Are gonna you, indulge now. I'm gonna time to have a taste. I think so. Yes. All right. Well, cheers. Cheers. Yes. Hmm. Pretty good. Coming. Yeah. Off. There, there's nothing offensive about that. No. Hmm. You like the but finish? I kind of know what you mean, though. Do I like the finish? Yeah, it's not bad. It's there. It's in the background. Yeah. It's not what were you gonna say? Uh, I know what you mean, though. Um, no, just about. Uh, well, it's kind of reminding me of uh, Dalwini ish type in that family, mm-hmm. which it kind of makes sense, I guess, as we were talking about earlier. Yeah, maybe a little less heather honey. Yeah, you know, more toward the the that um, 
sherry plays more of a role and the sherry is offset by the that bourbon note that for me penetrates uh generally like what are you describing that as though because we were just talking about it. That... I know, but I mean, how do you distinguish? Because I, I would say the sherry's there, but it, it's not an annoying sherry. No, there's something that's going on with it that mellows it out. Maybe it's like the honey coating on it that it's a different kind of sweet. Yeah, but I like it. I really do. I think they, I like it when scotches mask that sherry taste, or at least add to it to give it a better. Yeah, I think that's the better way of describing it. That the sherry still gets to play a role in this whiskey, but it's not dominant. It's just nicely offset with the bourbon, charred bourbon kind of thing. There's got to be another way to get... Is is the reason to get sweetness into the scotch? Is that what it is? Like, Why sherry casks? Like, I, I, yeah. Isn't there I another way to get a, a sweet, a sugary... But isn't there another way to get that sweet, sugary flavor? The sweet notes. I want to say sugary because that would be more of a... Maybe a rum, well, but... I think that, yeah, people have used rum. They've also used, you know, Madeira. They've used port... They've used red wine. I mean, so they're constantly looking for different ways to mellow out the whiskey, I think. You know, I think that's kind of the long game for a lot of um, the cask process is to kind of bring in these different flavors. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it makes sense. I'm yeah. just wondering, is there anything else to experiment yeah. with out there? Uh, it's a good question. I mean, that Virgin Oak has been playing a lot of people like that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, I think part of what you're maybe searching for is like, it's not the cast. It's it's something in the whiskey before it even gets in the casks. Like, why is Del Winnie the way it is? Hmm. You know, what but, is it like that? That uh, the honey floral thing is so much stronger in that whiskey. Yet with this Tomatin, is it because the sherry is masking that that we can't taste it, or is it because? The Dalwini possesses something the Tomatin doesn't have. Well, it does, but what does the Tomatin have? I think it has something that may even compete or compare with the Dalwini mm -hmm. in its own way. Like it's kind of uh, it's a it's a Highland and a Lowland, but it makes sense when you compare Islas together. You know how you can find sort of a similar at, like flavor overall yeah, yeah. underlying flavor, and you can <clears> compare <throat> them within that. You're like, oh, this one's more of this, this one's more of that, mm -hmm. and same thing with this kind of yeah. It may not be as complex as if my memory serves me correctly, but it does. It's very nice. Yeah, and there's no. Uh, I don't have the hints of smoke that I did in the Dalwini. Like mm. that, that still plays a role. Like there's sort of a like a more muscular character to the Dalwini that the Tomatin really doesn't possess. The Tomatin mm. is riding the that sherry bourbon thing, and um, you know I pick up some of the multi cookie kind of thing in the middle like more of a way it tastes or feels in my mouth and then the finish has something like there's something on the finish that i really like it's but it, it's not a sock blower offer it's more of a just present it's a present finish that that doesn't totally let you down you know so right. overall like i like the well-roundedness of the whiskey and i like the drinkability like i really you know, this is one where you could turn your mind off a little bit and just uh, just sip away, mm -hmm. you know, and just just get lost in the moment that you're dr drinking a decent whiskey uh, without having to be like, oh, you know, indulging in every flavor and moment because it's so demanding, you know, because this is not demanding. This is this is almost the opposite of demanding. Right. Yeah. But very pleasing, very yes. well balanced. That's right. Uh, for what it is, it's it is really well balanced. And I like what Joel said about it, you know, the fact that. It's a great starter whiskey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Even better than Alber Alberfeldi, I think. Yeah. I think by a long oh, shot. Oh, because he has that extra little, uh, that 43% makes a difference. You know, this, it just holds together better. And, mm. you know, whether we're, we're saying well balanced or whatever. Is that um, the difference? Oh, right. Alberfeldi is only 40%. I think so. Oh, that's right. I think so. I think, I think so. I don't know. It's going to be tough to look. see. Yeah, I think you're right. But it doesn't have the uh, yuck flavor that the Aberfeldy had for me. Aberfeldy just... 40%. 40%. 40%. 
the Aberfeldy didn't. Uh, had a yuck factor? It had a bit of a yuck factor. It yeah. had a bit of a. I'm not. I shouldn't really be allowed to be called a single mom. <laughs> I know that's harsh. You're but so harsh. It is, but that's the way I feel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't. One can't argue with another's feelings. Because I, I think that, you know, for me, this this, this all has to be rated. And, yeah. And that just doesn't doesn't get up there. No. It doesn't. It's even not compete. <sighs> Would you would you like to have Aberfeldy on your shelf? No. We're there, eh? We're at that I, I, Well, I would say like even here, right? If you Aberfeldy goes away, it's not getting replaced, is it? Mm. It's a test. It's a test run. Should, I'm not. Should mad we just drink we... the Strathisla and the Aberfeldy and get rid of them? Just open some spots up. Ugh. <laughs> no, I don't. I think to Matt, that would be an insult to Tomat to, to put them up against. Oh, I'm not one saying that. I'm just saying, should we get rid of the Strath Island and the Aberfeldy oh, well, to make no. space for better whiskey? No, I still think like if you get a one that really sucks, it's nice to have one to compare it to. <laughs> just in case you get another eh, sucky scotch. I don't know. Double sucky. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't. I didn't really think of anything, but I'd be lying if I said those ones didn't cross my mind at right. least. Which the well, the Strath Island, and the Aberfeldy. Strath- well, yeah. I didn't really think Strath Island. Strath Island did, no, but... it only came up because. It's another crappy whiskey that, that we need to get <laughs> See, rid of. Thank you. No. <laughs> Strath Island would definitely put in that category, though. Where it just didn't do anything. No, but but didn't you know, it other beat than, Aberfeldy? Uh, I think Aberfeldy beat Strath Island. Sheesh, I can't remember. Is that did if they I, were I they comparable? The did we was did, better? We're gonna have to listen to it. So did we do Aberfeldy versus Strath I'm not Island? Not percent on that. Neither am I. Not, so there. Even if that, I had to guess, though, I would say that that the, the Strath Island beats the Aberfeldy. I would say the opposite. Okay. Yeah. I really have a low opinion of Strathala. Well, and I don't the... have really a low opinion of anything, but that's one where, and I would still say like, if somebody had it and they, they were offering it, I'd be more than happy to drink it. It's well, like, I'd like to know what else there was available. Like, <laughs> let's say you had a chance to drink. I know that's Grant's or, or Grant's or Aberfeldy or, or Aberfeld. I probably go with the Grant's on ice. Oh yeah. But I'm not, what, what if that wasn't an option? You had to drink it. Out of had a to drink it straight. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Then maybe it wins. That's right. The one and only time. <laughs> so there's a, one so, scenario where the, the Strath the Island time, shines. That's a good thing. I'll say that from now on. The yeah. only time I'll ever drink Aberfeldy is when it's up against the Grant's and I can't have ice. Wow. The Aberfeldy now. The Strath Isle or the Aberfeldy? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I was. I in my mind, they're they're interchangeable, <sighs> and even it's wor- you I, even I, said that the Aberfeldy was worse than the Strath Isle. That's Isla, what so. my yeah. If I had to put a yeah. put some money on it, that's the way I would land right that's, now. That's that's it right there. I know that I, I'm kind of second guessing that now. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, but uh, up against the Tomatin, uh, gee whiz! I know. It, there's it's kind of like that. We don't have a whole bunch to compare it to, really. Like we're better when we compare mm, in the islands. Got and... Two, two right away. You got two? Yeah. Oh boy. Um, okay, I got one. Three. Three? Yeah. Oh, I'm having a hard time. I'm, I'm just trying to guess what you're gonna do. I'm not actually thinking about my. You picks. need to look down the bar and decide yeah. which ones fit. You know? Okay, I do have my one. Okay, I've got, yeah, I'm gonna going. stay. Uh, <laughs> I could go I as high. I could go one. as high as five. What? Yeah. Holy smacks! I know. I can't figure out. Like, I can't even imagine five. Okay. I could try to guess at them. Okay, why don't you try and guess at the five? All right, because I only have my one. Well, and can you move it to Matt and Box just for a second so I can just see what's going on? Chances are it's going to overlap, uh, right? right? That's Strath Island. Shoot. We're hiding Strath Island. We already talked about yeah, Strath Island. Yeah, I don't think it's fair. Fair enough. All right. Well, um, hmm. No. Okay. I just have my one. I guess I'll I'll guess what you picked. I don't want to. Okay. Robert Burns. Yes. Okay. Would you put it up against a Dalwini? I'd put it in the discussion. Yes. Oh, the other ones. You have five. Eh? Are you putting in Strath Island and Aberfeldy? I don't think I did. I'm trying to. Wow. Remember you've got it something stuff. on that upper shelf there, the All Isla shelf. No. Okay. But everything else, like that, you're throwing in what, like a Tam Do and a. I did at a, the end, Tam Do, yeah. Dalmore? I threw in at the end, yeah. Okay, so I got four out of. Yeah, so there's one more. Balvini. Which one? The only one we have, Triple Cast. Yeah, you <laughs> named all five. That's pretty good. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, mine was different. What? <laughs> Is it? Yeah. See if you can guess mine. Yeah, I'm going to. Old Pulteney? Mm mm. Oh, Royal Brackla. 
Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I was just throwing yeah, it because yeah, I thought no, no, that's no, kind of no, close. No. Yeah. And uh, you I know think what? That's not a bad call. I'm up for whatever you want to do. Really, it's all fun. I think the Balvini and the Dalwini are too good. I think, you think they. So? I think they'd be fun, Ooh. but they're too good. I like. I would say. I think the I think Dalmore like and better. the Tamdu are a little too sherried, but we haven't had them in a while. And as far as I'm concerned, we should drink them. Um, <laughs> I think the um, the last one. What was my last one? Aberfeldy. No, I didn't put that on there. The Burns. Oh yeah, Robert. Which Burns. I actually think. The more I think about it, the Burns. The Burns might be best. Yeah, it has the same delicate personality. And that and the Burns didn't sort of scream island. It. it it screamed more mainland. To me. Yeah, like it screamed, in a lowland sort of way. It screamed it so accessible, close. delicious. Like it just would seem to me be, to be a lot like this. Where yeah, if we're going about like the first scotch you're going to introduce to somebody, they're both exceptional for that. I would agree. Yeah, I think that this might even beat the Robbie Burns, if I'm if mm-hmm. I'm guessing. I think the forty three percent might be uh, the breaker. I also think this has. What do you mean? A, well, I think it's. Aren't they? Four, well, no. Rubber Burns is no, no. It's forty three. It's got to be at least forty three. Why? Yeah, well, I thought it was higher. No, forty three. Okay. Oh, that makes it even a better match. Eh? Yeah. Um. Well, okay. Are we doing the Robbie Burns? I think so. Comparison. 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 Scotch. It's so much lighter. The color. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if there's any colorant in the tomato. I, I bet there is. Yeah, you almost wonder now, looking at that. But it's a twelve year. Give it that. Sat around in a cask. Plus, it was switched over to another cask. That's true. Besides but... sherry and bourbon influences. Yeah. Who knows what role that plays in the color? You never know. Well, it probably plays some. You're drinking the tomato. Let me switch it up. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Robbie Burns. Robbie. Robbie. Wow, that's... Even more delicate. Yeah. Wow. So light. Now, would you say that could be um, considered sort of a nectar? Smell? Like a sweet nectar smell, which still has like a bit of a fruit in it, maybe but a, it's like that high-end flower. Maybe a flower. shade more toward honey than nectar. Isn't that what nectar is, essentially, though? <laughs> flower honey? <laughs> uh, well, doesn't one come from a bee, the other from a flower? Or a fruit? Well, that's where they get it from. The bees? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're trying to say. Oh, it's deep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. It smells great. It smells great. It's... And the more you smell it, maybe a little wood creeps in there. Or ah, a little, right. um, a little, uh, a little grass, like about... 30 yards up from the seashore kind mm, of thing. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I regret what I said before. There is a bit of an Isla sea yeah, salt going on. Yeah, there. Just a high I note. I know, there's a little something. There, I right. know, there's a little uh, yeah. hint of maybe ocean there that isn't even close in the other one. Hmm. Yeah, it's good, though. Let it, it happen. It smells great. Okay? Let it happen. Like the, I like the gentle whiskeys, you know, for their own thing. They're really... As long as they don't taste too much like sherry yeah. or some, you know... The rubbing alcohol kind of harshness, mm-hmm. where it's just too. Well, they wouldn't be gentle drinking them, would they? That's a good point. <laughs> if they were harsh alcohol ones. <laughs> but I do understand what you mean by the sherry thing. But I don't know. I, 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 I yeah. I mean, like I've, I, I obviously don't have the same problem with sherry as you do. I just think sherry is. Did you just drink it? Yes. How'd that go? I took a tiny sip, but my phone was buzzing. I wanted to put it down. Okay. Did I just drink it? Yeah. I took a tiny sip. <laughs> I'm going to hold everything off until okay. we both take okay. another one again. All right. I screwed up. <laughs> Did I just see that? He just... <laughs> Ooh. A late sort of high burn. Yes. Hey? I was going to say it's a little harsher. Eh? Different. Which... Hmm. Mm. Wow. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what to say on first, uh, second taste for me. I actually worry slightly that the sitting in the bottom like that all by itself, it might have done that. Gone a little. Oh, gee whiz. But let's drink. Oh, sorry. It might have gone a little. 
a, li- a, li- a, li- a little sour. A little sour. A little off. It's not sour. It's sharp. It's sharpened out, maybe. Let's have another sip. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it's just an adjustment. It's not that old. We just opened it in January. Mm-hmm. So. Part of the new year. It's just springtime, isn't it? I like it. It's yeah. got a little pepperiness <clears throat> to it. I'm interested to go back to the tomatin and see what, what gives there. Well, let's do it. My first instinct is to say I'm not sure which one's better. Which one's tastier? If I had to lean, I'd lean toward the tomato. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't super impressed with that. But well, not. But I'm stacking it up against my prior, this is what I think it was, and now I'm tasting something different. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I, it is what it is. It shifts. The nose smells really good, and then it just jumped now, right now back. Now I've got, like, caramel on the nose. Yeah. Caramel apple. Yeah, it's you know? super rich now. Yeah, rich and toffee. Mm, it mm. smells great. It does smell yeah. great. The other one just smelled flat and like lifeless now. It did have a bit of that sea. Like, smell it right back to back. Take the other glass. It does have a bit of the, like, now this one smells even more so like a, a field, yeah, you know, yeah, close yeah, to the yeah. ocean. Okay. It smells good. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. They're both great. They smells smell right, right, now. <laughs> right now. It's really good. It's fun. You can just sit here and smell glasses and get some sort of pleasure out of it. <laughs> <laughs> double fist. Man. Yeah, you're double fist smelling. You should try it. It's really good. <laughs> no, really, sit sit here and do this. Just go from oh. nostril to nostril. Mm. Both have like, you know, just for fun, you almost want to just say, well, what does an Isla smell like? Like what? <laughs> I always want to go back there, but how does how does that go into the mix? If just for smell. Well, yeah. Just even more so, I well, guess. It's I don't just know. not like this, though. It's, it's just it occupies different places, like you know, the smoke and the burn and the boggy peat thing, or you know, deep decay of of uh, plants and stuff. Like you know, like it generates a whole different power, right? It's like the earth power, whereas these ones are more sort of the you know the above ground earth powers yeah kind of like the earth but like the grass the things that grow from it right or things that rush through it almost like the river that runs through it and the grasses that grow and yeah come and go kind of thing over time you know what i mean it's a difference like i don't know it's a different thing it's a gentler touch i guess you know it's the the product of the soil yeah yeah exactly and maybe even the type right and the location Location, location, location. Tomato tastes really good. I just had another sip. I've been lapping you. Richer, you can you know what really jumps out is the uh, oily mouthfeel. Mm. And the solid. When you go back to back, that tomato <clears throat> has a like way denser feel to it. Completely throughout. Yeah. yeah, it's got a nice, heavy, thick feeling. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't burn too much, but it's there. It's enough to let you know what's going on. Yeah. Coats extremely well. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Robbie Burns. Robbie, back to Robbie. A little thinner. Much thinner. Sort of a thinner all around. Thinner and sharper, like a blade. Mm-hmm. Like a needle. Yeah. Yeah. But it does still have it a has bit something. of a sting. Yeah, it's a nice, <clears throat> it's a nice little deal. But yeah, I think overall... Tomatin. Totally. If totally I had to tomatin. choose, those are my only options. <clears throat> it, the only way I would present this differently is I would say drink the Robbie Burns before the tomatin. If you had, you know, if you were all like, you had four whiskeys and they were all on That's this side of the bridge. That's a incremental jump though. <clears throat> Agreed. This is why my qualifying statement was all four of the whiskeys are on this side of the bridge, which means we're not talking Isla at all. We're not, you know, our trail will go no further than the Highlands. And we're just dancing around, trying light drinking whiskeys. Right. If you did four light drinking whiskeys, you could do these two. But the trail is always to start off, um, like on the not for lack of a better word, weaker, weaker scotches, more gentler scotches, and then work your way up to the more robust. I would agree. That's why so, you go. So you'd uh, go Burns. Robbie Burns first. Yeah. Because but it's, of- I would say yes, but it's also it's it's a very small. 
Yes. It's a small incremental That's jump. Right. Like so, so it's a small it's trail. It's almost not worth it. Small trail. Do you think it's well short trail. Right. Short trail. Okay. So you think it's it, it's worth it. It's that much better? Uh, Is that where you're landing? No, I'm just more saying like these could still work together in combination. Well, they're working great in combination yeah, yeah. right exactly. now. Exactly. That's yeah. the point. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. That's exact that's the whole thing right there. Right. They work great together. And now if you compare this with a third and a fourth Highland whiskey that also worked nicely in this vein and they we're talking the short trail now, you know, boom, 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 boom. You can still have four really interesting things. Bring them all together and you know Okay, so So basically what I'm saying is instead of even imagining having an Isla or any other island whiskey within this particular don't even bother. No, I know. I, yeah. I agree. Don't <clears throat> so, bring AI into the yeah, conversation. Yeah, so just, just like, you know, we're going to not even go there tonight. We're only doing these four whiskeys. And okay, maybe... so if you, let's just say you are doing four whiskeys. Which one do you put before the Robbie Burns, and which one do you put after the Tomatin? I don't even know if you can go before the Robbie Burns. You don't think there's a before Robbie Burns? And what about your Aberfeldy? Mm. And then it's your Aberfeldy. <laughs> <laughs> I just think the Aberfeldy might have a little more. Like I would almost go Robbie Burns Aberfeldy Strathisla. Then you know, Arby, say sorry, say it again. <laughs> so Robbie Burns Aberfeldy Strathisla, or excuse me, um, Tomatin. No Strathisla. Okay, yeah, yeah. You got to give me that one more time. <laughs> there's four, sorry. right? Yes. Okay. No, there's three. Oh, there's only three. Yeah, we haven't picked the. Fourth I thought yet. that we were saying no, no, like, no. If so these I'm are saying, paired so close together, right. if, what's on either end? If we brought the okay, it's more this. Just re recalibrate. So if we brought the Aberfeldy into it, I would go. Oh, Robbie Burns. If we had to. Yeah, if we had to. All right. Robbie Burns Aberfeldy Tomatin. So then, are you saying the Aberfeldy is better than the Robbie Burns? I'm saying the Robbie Burns should go before the Aberbelt at Feldy. I'm not necessarily saying it's better. Does that make sense? Well, kind of, but why? I think there's some body to the Aberfeldy. Some bigger than the noticeable sea light splash. Yeah, whatever the Isle of Aaron whiskey is doing with the Robbie Burns expression is sort of like it's awesome, it's interesting, but almost is like always going to be your leadoff hitter. It's all, I don't know if you can go in a different direction for first whiskey of the night. First whiskey of the night should always be a Robbie Burns. <laughs> Not always. You heard it here. Not always. <laughs> but if... <laughs> After the blend. <laughs> on ice. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. It's, I mean, I'm on shaky ground. I have to do a little more thinking to really come up with maybe what I'm trying to say here. No, I, I think, think I know what you're saying. I think maybe something that might be more productive is to say, well, if you were going to use the Tomatin... And the Robbie Burns. Let's just take the Aberfeldy out of it. What other two whiskeys could you put into it that would be a nice little four-pack Highland whiskey trail? This one? Yeah, that one. And you had to have this one? You had to have Aberfeldy? No, Aberfeldy is okay. out now. So but if you want to put one? Aberfeldy back in, that's your choice. Yeah. Use so these, these two, two and, two, and more. two more. Yeah, that's all I was And Aberfeldy's in play if you want it. So is Strath right. Island. <laughs> okay, you all are, right, you, all right. I'll pick my four got one at least i don't like the way my head's sinking on this one no no i'm gonna do it okay i got my four now what order are they in i totally forgot my first top pick. <laughs> oh yeah no i got it again okay <laughs> what's the first one jeez i'm getting old okay i am gonna go robbie burns first then i'm going to go with the balbini trip triple wood yes then i'm going to go with the tomatin and wow. i'm gonna finish it all off with the ben Riek. Whoa, oh, but I can't, we can't use the Ben Rhea. It's not open. Oh, yeah. but we it would be a good pick, though, but... no? I know what it tastes like. Do you? Yes. Oh. It's wonderfully peated. Isn't that what it says on there? <laughs> I think so. Interesting. Or is it? It's... You would put the triple cask ahead of the Tomatin? No, behind. Do oh, you. you... Go... I, I meant Robbie Burns, the Balvini, yeah. Tomatin. Right. Balvini goes ahead of Tomatin. No, I'm saying bottom. Yeah. I'm working my way up. That would be my top. If we could open the Ben Riek, that would be my top. Yeah. But if we can't, then I'd have to pick a new one, <laughs> wouldn't I? Yeah. But okay. also, where does the Balvini go? The Balvini sits in between these two on the table. What does that mean? It means it sits in between the two. The Robbie Burns being my least favorite, then the Balvini, then you the Tomatin. You think the Balvini is uh, inferior to the Tomatin 12? 100%. Hmm. 
I have never had the same I, I, joy I think drinking it's, a Balvini. I think it's better than the Tomatoes. I'm not giving it enough credit. Is that what you're saying? You're I calling think, me on that? I just think the Balvini triple cask is better than the Taman. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I think, well... There's only one way to find out. <laughs> There's always this problem, though. Yeah. We always end up coming. We've got to try a third one. Yeah. We do We'd get be crazy these... not to try a third one right well, now. Thir- the third one usually goes off camera. The third uh, one that's true. is usually dark. Third yeah. one's usually dark. Dark. Uh, yeah. But <laughs> why not? Blow the rules up, eh? Let's just open We're going to go Benaria. dark whiskey tonight rather than doing a quote of the night because we didn't prepare a quote of the night. Dark whiskey. Okay, so tonight's feature is going to be new. It's going to replace the Scotch of the quote of the night. Scotch just, quote of the night. We'll be bringing that back, though. We just just when do, we've we really need to do some homework. lacked on planning. A little lack of pl- It was an impromptu evening. Let's look at it that way. Okay. Right. Expl- and, an exploratory evening. Right. An evening where we pushed the boundaries and tried to re-engage with our creative spirit roger moore dudley moore <laughs> so we're gonna do the balvini mm-hmm. we're, we're bringing try in a third a third a third whiskey which is the dark whiskey which will be the balvini triple, triple cask triple cask oh hey. <laughs> hey. Go off the t- dark whiskey gets um, served in a highball glass. <laughs> we have like three whiskeys on the go. <laughs> <laughs> what a real! It's a weekend night. Such a weak cork. Oh, that's right. But the Tomatins cork was spot on. Really good. Really good. Look at that. Even the way it goes back in. Isn't it a big one liter though? Yes. Can't complain about that. <gasps> you can if you drop it. It's in protective, even more liquid. Uh, yeah, protective it's a bit, canister. I'm surprised bigger, you didn't know that. Bigger bottle. All right. <laughs> oh, that was uh, so try it again. Try and hold it lower. You think? Let's just try. They're not McLaren. All right, See how there's a bit of a higher. It's a bit, yeah, but it's still dead. I know it sucks. It doesn't ring. No. No ring. No. Okay. No. Okay. Balvini. Nose. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm getting an alcohol smell through there. A cut. And I know this is, again, not fair on the first first sn- sniff, but I'm not getting a nice... Not the caramel. I'm not getting a nice... No caramel Oh, I like apple. that smell. Not the caramel apple that you got in the tomato. No, it smells worse than either yeah. one of those. Worse? Okay, yeah. Not worse, because those ones like, are good. I like them both. It's just different, it's right? Like... It, it, worse in it the smells sense that what though if you're gonna say that you're empty gonna it, it smells bit. empty and it doesn't smell inviting Less there's intense. no mystery going on there like oh i've got like apples or or like a caramel or sweet or nectar or well, honey hey, like hey, there's none hey, of that in there for a sec start working the wood well there should be a lot of wood but i'm not yeah. picking up a whole bunch we'll work on it <laughs> it's your homework for the week that's right you can't just be like uh you got to be like, eh, because of this, you know? Give me something. Why do I have to give it something, though? Mm, because Don't you it, think that scotch is just tastes different? Because it is something. I know it is something. That's a good point. But at the same time, sometimes don't you find that scotches taste a little different? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You, you thought they tasted one way and they're completely different another way? Are we talking about all whiskey? All. Yeah, of course. That's the whole point, I think. Well, you just drank it. You are so sneaky. I'm such a zipper. Holy. I can't help it. If I have a glass in my hand, I'm going <laughs> to... I forget what I'm doing. What okay. The heck? It's not really happening, is it? Well, I didn't take a Shoot. sip beforehand, but it was just it just tastes flat. It tastes You're like right. a 7-Up okay, that tomato- was left in the fridge overnight. The... Wow. Okay, that's That's harsh. so hard. But it felt like it lost the bubbly yes. poppy. No, but at the same time, I understand you. Like, yes, I would say that it doesn't really have a lot going on. It's kind of, it's nice and easy to drink, but like I'm remembering this one as the smooth Lincoln and now I'm like, yeah, not so much, you know, 
Not so much. I hope that my impression of it, you know, my bad words about uh, the Balvini tonight didn't. In, in I don't think so. F- I, because I was opinion. ready to support Balvini and I was actually expecting it to be a bit better than the Taman, but it just flat out wasn't. So I'm okay with dark whiskey showing a little something, you know? Well, I'm glad we did it then. Yeah. And I'm not trying to get you to dislike the Balvini family because I know you won't. You no. got a special place. Yeah, and especially after going to that. Um, <clears throat> the whiskey event at the Writers Festival, where mm. the we did for Balvinis, you know that was interesting. But yeah, right now, yeah, it's not really happening, is it? Well, I don't know. It's never been. I think it still has a place on my bar, but it's never been my favorite. True. I'd probably buy it before I bought the Aberfeldy. Yeah. Or the Strath Island. But again, you'd be paying a lot more. Yeah, I know. When it comes right down to it, I'm never buying that bottle. <laughs> well, like I said, if you were interested in a Balvini, I would recommend the Caribbean cask. Which is strange, because yeah. we talked about this off mic, and it was because you said it had the rum casks in it. It was very sugary, right? Mm, that's not exactly what I said. Was, I'm sorry. I'm not I said it was the best know. of the four that I had, right. most distinctive. And um, Because of its sweet nature? No, it not didn't necessarily. Have anything to do? Okay, I thought that's I, what you said. No, not necessarily. Just out of the four that I had, it was the most remarkable. You know? Like, I really thought it, it uh, had something going on. Okay. Yeah. What comes next? What comes next? I don't know. Don't we have a schedule? Yeah. Nobody knows what it is? I will check it. <laughs> Wait, if you had to guess, what do you think it is? What's up? Wolfburn. Maybe, uh, yeah, that or um, the other one over there, uh, Scapa. That'd be fun. Yeah. They'd both be fun. I'm looking, bo- yeah. Those need to happen, hey? These whiskeys need to happen. Like, to Matin happened tonight. It happened. Nine we had it. Later. We enjoyed it. We're on it now. Like, this is a thing. To Matin 12 is a thing. We got it wrong. What is it? What's next? Next up. Are you ready? Yes, very ready. Next up is the Altmore 12. Altmore 12. Altmore 12. I don't think I've ever uh, had that. That's another one I've never no. had. No, I think it's new. Brand new. It's like shiny. Wonder how long. It's a lot to wonder about, but looking forward to it. Altmore 12. Don't even know where that came from. <laughs> Prob- probably a duty free, though. I think it's so a that's du- got to be a couple months old, yeah, too. Yeah, it's probably a duty free. What the heck? Is every one of them established in 1897? Is that when like the laws changed or something? 189. No, it I think it seems they to me like the Tomatin earlier. The Tomatin also started in 1897. Where is the Altmore from? Is it a highland? Mm, could be a Speyside. Probably a Speyside. I guess that's a safer bet. I don't know. Speyside. You got it. Doesn't it say it right underneath single moth? Or uh, Foggy Moss? Space Size Single Malt. Okay, to sum it all up, to Matin. Never had it. Really enjoyed it. Yes. And it was cheap. I mean, if you can get it cheap, yeah, it's on my bar. I could bring six of those home from um, Why Alberta. Only six? Well, let's just use that, right? Six times. Why not 12? Let's say six times 40. Right? So that's 240 bucks. You could have a half dozen bottles of 700 mil um yeah I know. 12. are you gonna do that though if you have that much money to spend da- daily drinker yeah but if you can get everything cheaper that's right. you're not spending all your money on just that no you're right last when i was there i got the talisker 10 the lefroid quarter cask and the tomatin and i bought a bottle of uh lagavulin and 16 and drank it while i was there that's a pretty good trip i, I don't mind going to edmonton anymore I mean, the alcohol is so cheap that it's worth a trip to Alberta for. I don't know what that says about living in British Columbia. Time to get out of the technology realm. Okay, let's get out of the technology realm. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. Thanks for listening. Uh, You know, and it's cool that, you know, we see that people are listening to the podcast too. I don't know. We'd love to hear what you think of it. Yes. Like, is it it even worth it? Tell, Tell us. If you make it to the end. If you ever make it to the end of one of our podcasts, please just... Put something in the comment section saying, I did it. And we'll just promise be like, yeah, they did it all the way to the end. That'd be rad. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be stoked to hear that somebody listens to this to the end. Yeah, I think the average listening time is like a minute 30. Yes. And these average about an hour. (laughs) 
This is 59 minutes of So maybe wasted. we have our answer. Yeah, yeah. Please. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Really and, appreciate um, it. You know, we dram. And to Matt and 12, thank you for su- surprising us. We dram. We dram. Over in the corner, I can't quite see that whiskey bottle. It's quite dark.